If you've ever wondered what the most visited cities in the world are, we have your answer. In this video, we will present you with the top 20 most visited cities in the world. We hope that you are able to learn something new and that this video will serve as a good reference point for all your future travels. Number 20. Hong Kong After more than a century of British control, this area comprising numerous islands was restored to China in 1997. Hong Kong's reunification with China included specific conditions that give it a unique sense of independence. With its dynamic, diversified culture and gorgeous cityscape, Hong Kong separates itself from its Chinese peers such as Shanghai and Beijing. The striking contrast of dense skyscrapers and lush landscapes in this British-Chinese hybrid absolutely amazes visitors. There is more fresh air than most visitors realize. From sandy beaches to rugby fields. Of course, being a world-class metropolitan, Hong Kong has a plethora of urban attractions, such as fine dining hotspots and museums. Between October and December is the finest time to visit Hong Kong. This time of year has pleasant weather and cheap lodging prices. Despite the cooler temperatures, travel increases dramatically after New Year's, resulting in increased accommodation costs and more people. The brief spring season is another great time for cheap travel. While summer is still a popular time for travelers, the weather may be oppressively hot and humid. Avoid Chinese national holidays and huge meetings when hotel rates skyrocket. Number 19, Bali The term Bali brings up images of a fantasy landscape, towering volcanoes surrounded by a lush green canopy, sandy shorelines that dissolve into blue seas, and curving coastlines capped with staggered Buddhist temples. And, believe it or not, Bali almost never disappoints. You'll be surprised at how many various kinds of tourists enjoy this wonderland. The average visitor merely stays at the lavish beachside resort and indulges in magnificent spa treatments, delicious meals and lazes in the sun. The history lover, on the other hand, will find joy in the island's various temples, while the explorer will uncover fresh ways up Kintamani, an active volcano. Furthermore, Kuta has additional chaotic joys for individuals who enjoy late evenings.
The dry season, which lasts from April to October, is the greatest time to visit Bali. There are only two seasons in Bali, rainy season and dry season. Throughout the year, daytime temperatures range from the mid-80s to the low 90s, with only humidity and monsoon conditions varying. The lack of rain throughout the summer months makes beachgoers in Bali more comfortable. Number 18, Mallorca. Mallorca, the biggest of the Balearic Islands off the eastern side of Spain, is by far the most diverse region. Although the same turquoise seas that lap beautiful coasts that washes into Mallorca's beautiful shores, the island's geography has many more marvels. The Serra de Tramontana mountain range, which runs down the island's northern coast and falls into the mountainous Cap de Formentor, and the inland greenery stretch clothed in olive, almond, and carob trees. And its medieval town, Palma, with its majestic churches and palaces, as well as its tiny alleys and squares, is equally charming. Mallorca is best visited between March and May when typical temperatures are in the 60s and 70s and the summer throngs haven't yet poured on the island. Summer lasts a long time in Mallorca, from June to September, and is marked by high temperatures, crowds of visitors, and expensive hotel prices. Fall is another beautiful shoulder season, with mild temperatures and soothing rains. while January and February are the best months to obtain cheap hotel rooms. Number 17, Barcelona. Barcelona has both truly historic and eccentric attractions. From the picturesque trails of colorful Park Guell to the romantic narrow lanes of Bari Tic, from seaside bars and clubs to the city's dozens of sacred churches and architectural marvels, this seafront city appears to entice all types, the adventurer, the couple, the partier, the culture lover, and much more, with an almost enormous variety of things to do. You might stay for a few days, but you'll most likely need a week to really explore. Even though the beach is busy in Barcelona, but it's the multicultural city that attracts the most attention. Much of the action centers on Las Ramblas, a network of tiny streets and lanes lined with restaurants, bars, and a bustling pedestrian market. However, you should also see Antony God's masterpieces, which include Casa Mila, Casa Batlo, and La Sagrada Familia. You could definitely check out the diverse shopping environment as well as the region's outstanding food and wine.
The greatest time to visit Barcelona is from May through June. When temperatures in the low to mid-70s combine with a rush of festivities celebrating the arrival of summer. Winter temperatures in the upper 50s are pleasant in comparison to other Spanish resorts. While visiting in the springtime may seem like a good way to avoid crowds, April sees regular rains, which can put a damper on tourist plans. Consider the fact that no matter what time of year you visit, there will be tourists. Barcelona is Spain's most visited city. Number 16, Milan. If you're searching for a laid-back Italian holiday, head to Tuscany or Sicily. Milan like New York or London is a fast-paced city. Milan has most of Italy's stock market, and Fashion Week, as well as a vibrant nightlife, is similar to numerous other major international cities. Still, there are small variations. Soccer is huge in the city, notably at San Siro Stadium. Milan also has some breathtaking specimens of Italian artwork and architecture, like the Last Supper painting and the beautiful Duomo. It also possesses creative brilliance, from imaginative furniture manufacturers to fashion designers. Milano is the place to be if you want to shop and party till you drop, see some cultural masterworks, and nosh on Italian delights ranging from espresso and biscotti to sparkling wines and risottos. Milan is best visited between April and May or September and October. These spring and fall months span the city's hectic peak tourism season while also avoiding the city's hot summer heat. The off-season lasts from November to March, and it is distinguished by high average temperatures in the 40s and 50s, fog, and a deserted city. Number 15, Pattaya. Pattaya is a prominent beach resort on the Gulf of Thailand, located about 150 kilometers southeast of Bangkok, a two-hour drive away. Pattaya's vibrant nightlife is widely known, but in recent years, Local officials have improved the condition of the beaches and refurbished the resort as a more family-friendly destination. Today, hundreds of thousands of people go to Pattaya each year to windsurf, water ski, swim, sunbathe, snorkel, sail, or take trips to adjacent islands. Bungee jumping, cycling, skydiving, go-karting, Thai boxing, and paintball are some of the other activities available. Golfers, both novice and experienced, can find a broad variety of golf courses in and around Pattaya. Another reason travelers flock to Pattaya is the abundance of eateries providing some of Thailand's best seafood.
If you wish to visit Koh Lan, you may accomplish so in a single day. Minibuses and motorbike taxis are available on the island. If you're feeling daring, you may hire a motorcycle and ride it yourself. During the night, Pattaya Road is packed with many entertainment alternatives. You can always find something to eat or drink, as well as a place to relax. Number 14, Phuket. Visitors to Thailand's southern island of Phuket will find pure white dunes, azure lakes, and limestone cliffs. This island, surrounded by the Andaman Sea and roughly an hour by air from Bangkok, is a small bit of heaven with comparatively affordable prices for everything from hotels to spa treatments and boat cruises. But, in addition to its tropical attractiveness, Phuket entices visitors with its tasty cuisine and rich culture. And, while the island's beaches and tourist operators have recovered from the 2004 tsunami, which devastated its west coast and unfortunately cost hundreds of lives, it recalls the past with memorials and a stronger warning system in case the area is threatened again. Phuket is best visited between November and April, when the weather is great for beach activities like swimming and boating. Monsoon season lasts six months, from May to October, and while hotel costs are substantially reduced during this time of year, the water conditions may be risky. Number 13, Mecca. Mecca City is located in western Saudi Arabia. It is Islam's holiest city and the birthplace of the Prophet Muhammad. It was his residence until 622 CE, when he was forced to escape to Medina. In 630, he returned and seized the city. In 1269, it fell under the power of the Egyptian Mamluk dynasty, and in 1517, it fell under the jurisdiction of the Ottoman Empire. In 1925, King Ibn Sa'd seized it, and it became part of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. It is a religious center to which Muslims must make a pilgrimage once in their lives, only Muslims may enter Mecca, and pilgrimage services are the principal economic activity. Number 12, Osaka. After Tokyo, Osaka is Japan's second biggest metropolitan region. For generations, it has been the Kansai region's economic engine. Osaka is a pleasant calm city famed for its food, entertainment, and nightlife, with a dash of history and culture thrown in for good measure. Osaka is only a short journey from Tokyo, yet it has a completely different vibe than Japan's metropolis. Step off the bullet train into an area filled with vibrant nightlife, delectable food, and straightforward friendly folks.
Osaka boasts a historical aspect as well as an abundance of shopping and modern attractions, the centerpiece of which is Osaka Castle. The castle is an excellent spot to learn more about Japanese history and to walk about the gorgeous gardens, especially during cherry blossom season in April, when the sakura blooms and the weather is usually at its finest. Number 11, Seoul. Following the armistice of 1953, a contemporary Seoul flowered once again. Today, the city is distinguished by gorgeous architecture, vibrant culture, and a booming economy, all of which attest to Seoul's tenacity. Seoul may appear to be blazing into the future, but South Koreans remain committed to their rich legacy. Relics of Seoul's history, tucked amid large commercial areas and busy nightlife zones, are windows into an ancient Seoul before the concrete and steel buildings. Gyeongbok Palace, the city's oldest and largest Joseon dynasty palace, is situated on groomed gardens just minutes from downtown. Nearby, the wooden, one-story cottages of Bukshin village stand in stark contrast to the surrounding high-rises. The ideal months to visit Seoul are March to May and September to November, when the weather is pleasant and travel costs are cheap. If you're looking for snow, go between December and February, when typical daytime temperatures hover around freezing and snowfall is common. Summer, often known as monsoon season, is best avoided. During these months, Seoul is unbearably humid and overrun with visitors. Number 10, Antalya. Antalya is one of Turkey's oldest and most modern cities. It is situated in the southwest and is bounded by the Taurus Mountains. Antalya is well known as a Turkish vacation city because to its beautiful beaches bordered by enormous and expensive Las Vegas-style resorts. It is as popular with couples seeking a romantic retreat as it is with families seeking an amazing vacation. Apart from its various beaches and historical attractions, Antalya is well known for its bustling nightlife. At night, the city comes alive with picturesque vistas, romantic dinner cruises, and roaring pubs. Visit the fascinating bazaars bustling with traders and residents to see the authentic flavor of Turkey. Antalya is one of the cities that has it all, with a beautiful climate and a welcoming atmosphere. Number 9, Tokyo. Footsteps clacking down sidewalks, automobiles racing down streets, subway trains humming below ground, ships drifting in and out, Japan's megacity is continuously buzzing with action. Nonetheless, bright lights and loud signs invite you to pause, to stop moving for just a moment to pray at the Shrine of Capitalism. This is a city that thrives on movement and growth. But if you do decide to visit Tokyo, the city will make it worthwhile. The monuments and urban parks may be missed by the tech-savvy inhabitants. 
but the museums and historical sites are world-class. The ideal months to visit Tokyo are March and April, as well as September and November. Autumn brings with it vibrant foliage and pleasant temps. Spring delivers much of the same, but instead of vivid fall colors. Summer, on the other hand, is peak tourist season, as seen by huge lineups at museums and puzzle train users. Avoid this time of year if possible, you'll confront unpleasant heat, humidity, and exorbitant hotel prices. Winter weather, on the other hand, is cool but doable, Nonetheless, you will not be able to appreciate the full potential of Tokyo's parks at this time of year. Number 8, Istanbul. This city's glorious past has left us with numerous monuments to treasure. It was formerly the capital of the Ottoman and Byzantine empires. It combines its past and present to produce a one-of-a-kind architectural combination, such as a glass skyscraper adjacent to a Byzantine cathedral. The Bosphorus, a small strait that connects the Sea of Marmara in the south to the Black Sea in the north, divides the city in two. Visitors will see a skyline of domes, steeples, and contemporary structures from the turquoise seas. When the sun goes down, Istanbul loses part of its conservative exterior to expose a booming nightlife. Istanbul astounds tourists with its quick speed, historical history, and contemporary culture. Istanbul is best visited between March and May, and between September and November. That is when crowds at the city's attractions are manageable, accommodation prices are reasonable, and daytime temperatures are in the 60s and 70s. Peak season is from June through August, when temperatures spike into the low 60s to low 80s. And lodging fees rise to meet the demand from visiting tourists. Meanwhile, the cheapest months to travel are December through February, but due to Istanbul's wet, snowy, and frigid weather, you'll need to dress warmly and bring an umbrella. Number 7, New York City. As the most populated metropolis in the United States, placed at the vanguard of gastronomy, fashion, and the arts, New York City demands endurance. As you go through the concrete jungle, you'll notice roaring taxis flying down busy blocks, fast-paced pedestrians hurrying by on their way to marquee galleries and fashionable cocktail bars, and Times Square's neon lights flickering at all hours. The city's glittering lights and jumbled corners, on the other hand will inspire you to explore every pocket and create your own urban experience. In a city that never sleeps, there are countless ways to spend your time. The finest time to visit New York is at any time of year. Every season in the city provides visitors with several reasons to visit.
Early fall brings crisp breezes, bright sun, and pleasant temperatures, while late fall and winter provide the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade and Christmas decorations. The deep winter months of January and February are frigid, but they also have lower hotel prices. Spring is beautiful, and New Yorkers enjoy it by taking to the streets, shopping at outdoor markets, and frolicking in Central Park. Number 6. Kuala Lumpur Malaysia's sophisticated and diverse capital city has a lot to offer. Many visitors are drawn to this great city by its lifestyle, excellent shopping, world-class food, gorgeous beaches, thriving economy, sound education, and vibrant nightlife. For many tourists and vacationers, the city remains a hidden gem. The city is rich in natural beauty and steeped in history. The amount of sites in Kuala Lumpur is astounding, as is the abundance of activities. Kuala Lumpur has a mild temperature all year, however the ideal months to visit are December to January and June to August, due to major events held during these months. The months of February to March and September to October are considered as off-season here. Number 5. Singapore The city retains a unique blend of open space and skyscrapers, as well as significant ethnic enclaves such as Little India and Chinatown. Singaporeans are determined and patriotic, and they are proud of their achievements. Singaporeans, however, have not lost their history or the value of their natural environs, even as their skyline acquires massive peaks and troughs. Museums are lofty structures that welcome amateur historians to explore their enormous interiors. Furthermore, Extensive wetland areas on an island sit peacefully in sharp contrast to Singapore's contemporary achievements. This little country, with its big city, exemplifies cosmopolitanism in a way that few others can. Singapore is best visited at any time of year. The island country has a warm, tropical environment all year, with daily highs in the 80s. With a regular stream of business travelers, the city's hotels are rarely without inhabitants and maintain acceptable to high accommodation rates. Avoid major festivals or national holidays such as Chinese New Year to avoid paying high rates. However, Bear in mind that rain is probable all year. Number 4. Dubai People from all over the world travel to these glistening oases with the same purpose in mind, to have a good time. The city is making plans for something larger and better. It was once thought that this area housed a fifth of the world's construction cranes. Dubai is a city of superlatives, 
with the world's tallest building, one of the world's largest retail malls, and one of the world's largest man-made marinas, but on a smaller scale, the emirate is still tethered to its days as a tiny port town. Despite its relentless focus on the future, this city is slow to let go of its history. This dynamic is what placed Dubai on the tourism map and will keep it there. From November through March is the greatest season to visit Dubai. In terms of weather, Dubai has only two seasons, hot and hotter. During the winter, the city enjoys clear sky and ideal beach weather. However, this is also peak tourist season, so Jumeirah Beach will be crowded. If you travel during the summer, you may avoid the crowds. But be ready for triple-digit temperatures and high humidity levels. Number 3, London Life in London is exhilarating, and visitors discover that one visit is insufficient to enjoy everything this old city has to offer. The antique joins hands with the modern here. There is the medieval Tower of London as well as the avant-garde Tate Modern. Shakespeare's Globe and its companion Sam Wanamaker Playhouse present both Shakespeare's works and contemporary plays. While Londoners continue to praise the power of tea, they also make room for Starbucks and Costa coffee here and there. Discover the city's current leaders in everything from politics and banking to fashion and music on one of London's best tours. The months of March through May are ideal for visiting London since the weather is pleasant and the city's parks are verdant and blossoming. However, late spring and summer are also peak tourist seasons, and hotel and airline rates reflect this. December in London is also a very popular time to visit over the holidays, so expect to see both English and foreign travelers on the streets. And, no matter when you go, bring an umbrella, London is infamous for having hazy days and rains all year. London is one of the most popular tourist destinations in the world, so no matter what time of year you visit, you will encounter a large number of tourists. Number 2. Paris Every year, millions of people are drawn to the City of Light by its spectacular aura. Of course, the wonderful food and extensive art collections deserve recognition as well. The Seine River meanders through the city, surrounded by majestic museums, centuries-old churches, and blocks of Rococo and neoclassic architecture, which is further accented by cascading trees and dazzling street lamps. Impossibly elegant Parisians pepper the Seine's cobblestone paths and exquisite bridges most likely on their way to the market cafe or cinema.
Enjoy the view from the top of the Eiffel Tower, or arrange a day excursion to Versailles Palace. But don't overlook the simple pleasures of wandering through the magnificent areas or nibbling on street crepes. From June to August and September to October are the finest months to visit Paris. Summer and fall have their ups and downs. Paris has nearly beautiful weather from June through August. Unfortunately, Summer is also the most congested and costly season. Visit in the fall for lower travel rates and significantly shorter lines at attractions. If you're just looking for a good deal, visiting during the winter will undoubtedly save you money. Number 1, Bangkok Travelers struggle to nail down Bangkok's characteristics. Most first-time visitors perceive this city as being stuck between the past and the present. Thailand's capital is made up of ancient temples and modern retail malls, and Buddhist monks and Patpong regulars share the city streets. The contrast may create a thrilling yet chaotic environment. Having said that, Bangkok's dynamic climate necessitates a lot of energy. Unprepared tourists suffer as a result of the consistently hot weather and relentless crowds. The world's biggest open-air market, a world-class aquarium housed in an eight-level retail mall, a 150-foot golden Buddha statue, and much more can be found here. Bangkok is best visited between November and March, when the heat and humidity are at their lowest. Regardless of the season, Thailand's tropical environment may easily reach temperatures over 90 degrees on any normal day. Consider traveling between April and October, the warmest and rainiest months of the year, to obtain the best savings on ticket and accommodation prices. Not only are you more likely to discover a bargain at this period, but crowds are also likely to be lower than during the main travel season in Bangkok, which is winter. Remember that the monsoon season technically begins in May and often lasts until late September or early November.